Now at least four sluice gates at the Val Dam have been closed, with the Water and Sanitation Department saying that the level has dropped. The department opened 12 sluice gates last week to relieve the pressure of heavy rains. But the opening of these gates led to localized flooding that caused major damage to homes and forced people to evacuate. Senior reporter Slinda Lomasikane is in the Val and joins us now with the very latest. A very good afternoon to you, uh, Slinda Lomasikane. Uh, what is the very latest when it comes uh, to the closing of some of those sluice gates uh, and also just the impact that remains uh, of uh, that, uh, what many called a reckless opening of them in the first place. Well, from what we understand, of course, the number of sluice gates have been reduced uh, that have been opened at the Val Dam. A statement was released by the Water and Sanitation Department uh, saying that the capacity at uh, the Val Dam had been reduced to the point where a number of the gates uh, were able to be closed. Tamsang and I actually um, outside of uh, the Val Dam, where you can see some of those sluice uh, gates that have been opened, some um, in fact, have been already been closed. You can see that uh, the number of um, the number of gates that have been closed uh, adjacent to those that are opened, um, and in fact, uh, on the bridge. Um, here in the Val area, we're actually in between the Free State as well as Gauteng. That's where the Val Dam um, is situated. You can actually see uh, a number of uh, local residents who have uh, come out to see um, what, is, of, of course, looks like a marvelous site. But we know that downstream, where a number of communities have been affected, uh, there's been a lot of flooding uh, due to uh, the water that's being released. Unfortunately, the water and Sanitation Department saying that they had no choice uh, because the dam um, had reached full capacity and so water had to be released uh, from, from the dam in, uh, in order to uh, maintain the infrastructure. But let's just take a listen to the DDG from the department uh, with regards to the latest um, of uh, latest uh, with regards to the, the gates that have been closed. It is still some time before we can actually accurately state that when we will go back to normal operations, we will be doing discharges out of the out of the valves and not through the gates. Um, but because the dam is at eleven at one hundred and eleven percent, and we're also watching the that Freddie will have on the catchment of the valve, um, it has made landfall, um, and we are, will be awaiting that as well to see um, what is the. The, uh, um, how we should accommodate um, further possible uh, um, flooding that could come in. But as it is from a, water, from a normal water resource management perspective, you always want to start your dry season with a full dam. So we would not want to, to unnecessarily the, uh, um, lower the dam to such levels where we um, might go into, we, we found us finding ourselves in a critical position going into the dry season. Slindela, what do we know about residents living on the riverbanks? I mean, well, those who are living on the banks of the Val Dam um, and really just what they've been urged to do in terms of taking precautions. Well, the message remains the same, uh, Rafua, from uh, the Water and Sanitation Department that uh, those who are living along riverbanks, along flood lines, need to either evacuate or, or remain uh, cautious. We know that at least 40 families um, in the barrage area here in the Val have had to be evacuated uh, from their homes, and uh, that is because either their homes are completely submerged underwater um, or, uh, you know, their items and their belongings have been destroyed. And so um, at this point, there is some anxiety around the fact that it does seem as though um, that uh, there may be some rain expected this week, uh, which is why the message remains that people need to remain cautious um, and get to higher ground uh, if, their, if their homes do begin to flood. Let's take a listen. The Valdem has um, recovered to 111 um, percent. This is a significant um, um, downflow from where it was in terms of the 120 percent where it turned. And uh, also increase in inflow into the dam has decreased um, where it peaked once at 3,800. It is now um, restored um, to a level of 547 cubic meters per second, um, which uh, allowed us also now to amend the discharge 
of the outflow downwards um, to the effect that as from 10 o'clock this morning, we will have another gate closed at the wall there, which will actually then bring it down to um, seven gates being opened um, for discharge to, still to continue. Now, yes, um, we will be able to actually then measure accurately in terms of what that outflow would be. We are maintaining a discharge higher than the inflow to um, bring the dam lower, as I previously stated, that it's at 111%. Similar at Bloomer. Um, at Bloomhoff, we have uh, peaked at 3,800 cubic meters per second in discharge. At this point in time, we are reducing um, the outflow at Bloomhoff. Um, another amendment this morning, 1,000 that it was yesterday, to 2,800 cubic meters per second. Uh, um, so there will be less flow in the river, much less flow than what we experienced during the peak. High flow conditions and the warning and caution still exist and still goes out to the people and downstream that there's still a higher flow than normal, even though there is a decrease in the levels that will be detected. Senior reporter Selinda Lomasikana joining us from the Valve with the very latest on the sluice gates and their closing.